This is the picture that Zabo sent us when we first heard about Gita. The bad, it's the same one he sent to everybody. This is the picture that Yanka just gave me. A picture of Gita and her father. Brian Mahoney's not the father. This is beautiful. Council, I assume you're ready to proceed? We are, Your Honor. Your Honor, at this time, the prosecution petitions the court for an amendment of the charges against Mr. Zabo. To what? To felony grand larceny, Your Honor. Based on what? Do you have something for me? We have a signed affidavit from the alleged birth father, Mr. Brian Mahoney, and the results of a blood test he took voluntarily, both of which show he's not the biological father. May I? Your Honor, that still doesn't make me a felon. Oh, but we believe it does, Your Honor. You see, Mr. Zabo never bothered to get consent from the real father. Instead, what he did is he falsified the consular birth certificate, showing Mr. Mahoney to be the father, but it wasn't the case. So in essence, Mr. Zabo was trafficking in stolen goods in excess of $175,000. A baby? You said the value, Mr. Zabo, not me. Felony grand larceny, Your Honor. I buy it. Mr. Zabo, you're going to need time to prepare a new defense. Also, Your Honor, defense should be made aware that we will be seeking the maximum allowable sentence. That's no surprise. And in light of the new charges, the state asks for a $1 million bond. The fact that Mr. Zabo is not an American citizen clearly makes him a flight risk. That is absurd, Your Honor. I have a green card, I am a member of the state bar, I have roots in the community. All right, we'll hold Mr. Zabo over until we can have a bail hearing. I suggest you get yourself a better lawyer, Mr. Zabo. Next case. just got word the custody hearings in a couple of days. And the Hungarian government does want the baby back. This should be interesting. So now the Hungarian government's going to raise her. Now that this is news, everybody wants her. Why don't we go ask for her then? Because you don't have standing to address the court. You're behind the Hungarian government, the New York State Social Services, the foster families, and uh, every potential New York adoptive parent. Well, what's the worst that could happen? Well, we could all end up in jail for contempt of court. But then, that's why I stopped by here. I was hoping you'd ask me that. Since the court has ruled that the parental rights of Yanka Madger have been revoked, we're here to determine the custody of the child, Gitta Madger. I think I'd like to go over the opinions one final time. Ms. Sosie, you want to start us off here? Uh, excuse me, Your Honor. I'm Ron Grazer, and I represent the Johnsons. We would like you to entertain a motion for the Johnsons to adopt Gita. I know who the Johnsons are, and they have no relevant legal claim here. Sit down, Mr. Grazer. Ms. Sosa, please. Thank you, Your Honor. Most of the issues of this case are still pending in New York criminal court. And until those are resolved, including the child endangerment charges against the birth mother, it is the opinion of New York Social Services that the child remain in our custody under the guardianship of a foster family. Gitta. I'm sorry? The child's name, it's Gitta. Mr. Consul. 
It is not a matter for American courts, Your Honor. Both Yanka and the birth father, as determined in criminal court, are Hungarian, making the girl Gita a citizen of our country and under our jurisdiction. For the moment, she's under my jurisdiction. That's right. Your Honor, you have the responsibility to do what's Mr. right Grazer, for Mr. Grazer, don't tell me what my job is. Marshal, if he opens his mouth even for a hiccup, I want you to take him away. Then forget it, Your Honor. We don't want custody. Um, can I talk to you for a minute? Okay. Yes, we did come here to adopt Kita because we love her. But the fact is, I know that we can't beat the legal system. So, I am appealing to you to give Gita to a real family, or even back to her real mother, not some governmental agency. Please, just give her to someone who will love her. That's it. You know, I have a... I have a pretty simple job here. I've been given one directive by the state of New York, and Mrs. Johnson, you'll be happy to know that that is to act in the best interest of the child. Dr. and Mrs. Johnson risked their lives for Gitta, who was a stranger to them when this began, without any guarantee that they would ever be taking her home. Now, if that isn't acting in the best interest of a child, if that isn't being a good mother, then, then I don't know what is. I'm awarding full and immediate custody of Gitta to the Johnsons. Oh my God. Any objections to that? Your Honor, as I stated in my opening arc. Your Honor, I will notify the consular office of your decision along with my concurring recommendation. Well, now that the court has ruled, I'd like to read this letter Although I, I know it has no legal relevance, I feel that it's important for the record. Dear Mr. Judge, I no longer stay in America. It is my want and wish that my daughter get to go home with the Johnson family. <coughs> Signed, Yanka Madger. This hearing is adjourned. Oh. <laughs> oh, uh, <laughs> when can we get her, you wonder? Well, as soon as you can pick her up. Oh. Go get her, Mom. <laughs> Dear family and friends, it's been quite a year at the Johnson house. Evan joined Cub Scouts, Steve's practice is going well, and I'm up to my eyeballs as usual at the boutique. But the big news is, and believe me, it's pretty big news, we have a precious little girl named Gita. Our attorney in New York has a saying, childbirth is an act of nature, but adoption is an act of God. I guess you could say we're believers, and we have a miracle to prove it. Greetings to all of you, and love from the Johnson family.